bless you again, children of God. Wherever you are watching me, I greet all of you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, I'm here to share a message uh, concerning the color black. The color black. Before I share this message, I want us to consider one scripture here. Maybe if I could tell you other scriptures, as the Spirit lead me, we continue. As we continue, the Lord continue to keep you, bless you, cause His face to shine upon you all. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us see in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 9. The Bible says, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. In this journey, it's not everything that one person will know. And it's not possible that God will reveal everything to uh, one person. God revealed to us in bits. God revealed to us in bits. There are things God tells you, uh, God will not tell me. There are things that I know that you don't know. There are things another person may know that I don't know. But it baffles me when people say they are children of God, they are walking in the light, they are walking the narrow way. When they hear revelation that God hasn't given to them, they get mad at people, they rush into concluding, calling people names. Instead of them to go to the throne of grace and pray and say, Lord, help me, I want to know if this thing is truly from you. And wait, if God don't reveal to them, maybe he will reveal to other people. But they keep on concluding and they keep on saying all sorts of things. I pray the Lord will give us conviction over this one in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I remember uh, there was a video I made. I was putting on the color black. I titled it, My Deep Allah Pastor Miss the Rapture and My Woman Leader. If you remember, for those of you who have watched that video, then I get comments that some people were telling me that I should pray that God should reveal the color black to me. There was another woman again that called me from the USA and she was telling me that God had dealt with her concerning the color black, that she doesn't put on black, even Andes, she doesn't wear them. So I listen to those things as if though... Uh, there is just story because I didn't really see anything wrong about it because I haven't gotten the conviction about black. So you can see that I'm good to go in the color black. I don't, I don't see anything wrong about it. So I continue to put on black because I love the color black. I remember those days when I was bleaching my skin. You can see I used to be fair. I used to be like a white woman. You can see from this one, you can see it here. I just want you to take a look at this picture. That was me before. When I was bleaching, I was very fair. I was very, very fair like a Yubo woman. So I love wearing black. Because why? Black bring out my color more. It makes me stand out with than other color that's when I put them on. As a fair woman then, fake artificial uh, fairness that I was tuning my skin with bleaching uh, cream and bleaching soap. But I give God the glory for my new mate today. Hallelujah. So, I don't really see anything bad about black. Even now that I'm walking on this narrow way, I still love the color black. I wear them because I see nothing wrong about black. So, it was until last uh, uh, week, last week I was in the village, that one lady called me. Before she gave me that call from South Africa, that same lady that God used in talking to me concerning the uh, flower dresses, uh, the print dresses that I share here one, uh, uh, sometime like that. You know about it for those of you who have listened to that message. That period... I, was, I began to have condemnation in my heart concerning black. I knew God was speaking to me. Each time in the night that I dress, I want to sleep because I used to wear black. Sometimes I sleep with it. So I'll begin to have this condemnation that what you're putting on is demonic. This black dress that you are putting on, uh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't please God. We are children of light. We are not supposed to put on things like black. So sometimes 
I will just get up from the bed and look for something white and put on and sleep. Then I was having this condemnation on and on and on and on and on. It was going on for like maybe a week or so. Until this night, that very night that this sister called me all the way from South Africa, her name is Happiness Dawn. She told me the dream that God gave her about me. It's a message to me directly that I am wearing black dress that is not good. So immediately when she told me that message, I begin to feel guilty in my heart. So after that, we finished discussing, I prayed, studied my Bible that night as usual, and I went to bed. That night, myself and my younger sister, her name is Anne, we were lying together in the same room. She was on another bed, I was on the, on the other bed. Then this very cloth that I'm going to show to you right now, this particular uh, nightgown as you're seeing, this particular uh, 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 cardigan you are seeing me holding now in my hands, was here in Calabar while I was in my village. I was lying down on the same uh, room. I was lying in the same room with my younger sister. She was lying in the, the other bed. I was lying in the other bed. So this particular cardigan was here in Calabar. Then suddenly in my dream, I saw my sister Anne wearing this cardigan, lying down with me. As she was wearing it, suddenly I saw a demon was just coming out from nowhere, very fearful and horrible. The demon was going straight to attack my sister while she was sleeping wearing this gown black. And even I didn't go to the village with this guy is here in Calabar, like I told you. I saw the demon coming to her. And right in that dream, she didn't know. She was still lying down, sleeping, innocent. While I was watching the demon, I became terrified instantly. Fear gripped me so badly. I saw the demon going to her and I started screaming and calling her. Though I was afraid to scream aloud. I was saying, oh, oh, ah, Sister Anne, that dress you're putting on, ha, ah, look at it, demon is coming to attack you because of this black dress. Oh my God, demon is coming to attack you because of this black dress. I was saying this within me, I was saying it repeatedly, repeatedly, until I woke up. Beloved, listen now wherever you're hearing me. I got my conviction instantly that the color black is, is demonic. The color black is satanic. That same night, this lady told me this message. And I saw my sister wearing the same black. And demon was coming to attack her. And I was so afraid. If you have ever had any experience about being afraid in your life, then you should understand what I'm saying, that I was afraid. I was really, truly terrified. I was so, so afraid of myself. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what I should do. And my younger sister didn't know she was sleeping innocently. Beloved listener, wherever you're hearing me, I want to say this to you. If you are a child of God, you are walking on the narrow path and you want to go to heaven in, pu in purity, uh, in righteousness, in holiness, please disassociate yourself with anything black in your life. Do not put on color black. It's demonic. It's satanic. Another thing, the devil will use your body in the night. As demon is coming, she's innocent, sleeping. They can, they can mani manipulate her body. As she's sleeping there, they will take her and begin to appear, operate everywhere. People will be seeing her in the dream as a witch, attacking them. But uh, she herself, she's innocent. Have you ever had a experience like that? People waking up and telling you, I saw you attacking me. I saw you portraying me in my dream. Sometimes we don't know the color we put on, uh, uh, it has a lot of negative effect in our life. I want you to pray about this, I'm telling you. To further add to this confirmation, there was one day I had a revelation about rapture. In this revelation, I did not make it. I missed the rapture in this very revelation. So I saw myself running to hide from the Antichrist. And I saw three demons. They came to attack me. They came to me. Their mouth is like the color of a flame of fire. Their eyes were carrying the same color of flame of fire like, like fire. They put charcoal, fire inside their mouth. Then their face, their body was very black. And they were putting on a black and red dress. 
all of them, the three demons, and they were also tying a tie. One side of their hair tie is black, one side is, uh, is red. And the same also with their dress. One side of it is black, one side of it is red. This was what the demon were putting on as they came and they told me that this your mouth you are using to preach to people about us. That we are coming back to bring on that demon to come and join together. We are going to kill you alive. I was so afraid in that revelation until I woke up. What is it telling you? Black is associated with demon. Red is associated with demon. Even the color red on the dress. I'm not talking about shoes. I'm not talking about hair tie. But color red itself. Pure red itself. Which me, I didn't know anything about. I was still putting on. It has a link with the demonic war. It's satanic. You see the occultic people, they put on red. You see the occultic people, they put on black dress. And God wants to purify us. Many of you are tired of this message of do's and don'ts. You begin to complain. You begin to abuse people. You begin to mock. You don't even know that God is interested in our cleansing. God is interested in us looking holy. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Genesis 17 verse number 1. When God said to Abraham, walk with me and be perfect. That is what God expects from you and I. Yesterday is gone. This morning is another day. As you wake up in the morning, the next thing, you, you are in the walk with God. You are in the walk with your creator. If you desire to walk with him, and he will walk with you. Where you don't know, God is ready to take us there, to teach us, to expose us to the things that we don't know. So that we will not have blame on the last day. Remember, it is spotless garment the Lord is looking for. And he said to Abraham, walk with me and be perfect. How can you walk with God and be perfect? When you are not ready to take his to God's warning. When they tell you this one, you say, no, 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 no. God has not told me, so I'm not going to take it. We need to pray. That's why Jesus said, test all spirits. The color black is evil. It's not good for children of God to put on color black. Anybody that is practicing holiness. Anybody that say I'm walking in righteousness and I want to make it to heaven, please disease from the color black. Black does not tell well of you as a person. It was because I did not know that was why I was putting on color black. And as I saw this revelation, I gather all my black dresses, I gather everything. I was having two bra that were pure black. One of them was red and black. One of them was black. And they were beautiful. They were newly, uh, I, I newly bought this uh, 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 bra. I had to, to do away with everything. I've made up my mind not to put on black anymore. So God is dealing with us. We should be grateful to God. In this generation, God doesn't want anybody to perish. That is why he said in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse number 9, that the desire of God is that no man should perish, but that everyone should repent and have everlasting life. Would you be happy? Are you not happy that God is dealing with us in this manner? I have made up my mind to take heed to, to all God warning, no matter how difficult it might be. I have started this journey. I am not ready to give up. I am not ready to step out because I have come a long way to stop. I have come a long way to go back. But I don't know about you. My brother, my sister, do you want to stop your race halfway? For those of you who have spent money buying black things, you say, no, how do I start? I know I bought this one. It's very expensive. I can't throw them away. What do I do? Please, you have to give all. If you look at me, I've come a long way in life. I was so worldly, I was so addicted to worldliness. But look at the drastic change in my life today. For those who know me know that actually something has happened in this lady's life. Of course, I've shown you my pictures time with that number to see that this same woman you will see that dress like this. Today, look at her hair. Some will say, don't keep the picture, but I'm using it for testimony. 
I'm not admiring the picture to go back. I want you to see it yourself. Look at it. This was me before. Look at it. Many of you are still in the world who say, oh, you are beautiful. Look at it. Look at the earring that I used to put. Look at the rings in my hands. Look at it. I have learned all these. But today, look at the way I am. And now we have big dress. I'm no longer fair. I don't even apply powder. I don't even apply makeup. I don't even apply perfume. I don't even apply bleaching cream. I don't even apply all those things anymore. I don't care about those things anymore. I care about my soul. Where will you spend eternity? If you continue to live in unrighteousness, purify yourself today. Jesus told us in the book of 2 Corinthians 7 verse number 1. He said, having these promises dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, perfecting holiness in the fear of God, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. I'm not ready to give up. I am ready to continue with my God until I see him. Just like a songwriter said. Heavenly race, I know God tired. Heavenly race, I know God tired. Heavenly race, I know God tired. I know God tired. I know God tired. Heavenly race, I said me I know God tired. Heavenly race, I know God tired. Heavenly race, I know God tired. I know God tired until I wear my crown. Heavenly rays, I say me I know God tired. Heavenly rays, I know God tired. Heavenly rays, I know God tired. I know God tired until I see Jesus. Heavenly rays, oh me I know God tired. Heavenly rays, I say. Heavenly rest, I know God tired, I know God tired. I am not ready to give up. I don't know about you, brother, sister. Please don't give up. Don't give up. As you have started, I want you to look back. Remember how many friends you lost behind. Remember how many people left you because of born again. Remember, some of you, your husband have even left you because you are born again. Some of you, so many things have happened. People hate you, people despise you. All the sacrifice you have made. Many of you have cast away your things. You have thrown away your clothes. You have thrown away your precious things. You have stopped bleaching. You have stopped fornicating. You have stopped drinking. You have stopped all this thing. Just because of the desire of the flesh. You want to go back to Egypt? When God have delivered you out, remember lost wife. Do you hear me? Luke chapter 17, verse number 32. He said, remember lost wife. Before you go back, remember lost wife. What happened to her? What happened to you? She wanted to turn back and she became a pillar of salt. Don't look back like lost wife. Continue to stand. Let us run together. And I pray that one day we will all smile and rejoice before the feet of our God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth in heaven. You have started this race. Don't think that God has not seen you. Please, God is watching. God is interested. God is not unrighteous that he will forget your work of love. I want to use this medium again to enlighten us. Please go for evangelism. The laborers are few, but the harvest is plenty. Souls are dying out there. Go and preach the gospel to them. This is not the time to preach enticing word by pampering people to repent. Please don't pamper them because people are perishing. Jesus is coming back. 
And for those of you who always say, ah, why is this the gospel? Why are you harassing people? Yes, sometimes we need to take it by violence. The Bible says in the book of Matthew eleven twelve that during the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And violence took it by force. At times, this time around, we need to take it by force. Be radical for Jesus. I am a radical for Jesus. Whether anybody likes it or not, Jesus has made me to be like this. I am radical for Jesus. I will continue to the end. God bless you. I want you to listen to this message and share it. Pass it on to your loved ones so that they will know the color of black is evil. And all appearance of evil is abomination unto the name of the Lord. Like he said in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse number 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Make yourself holy inside and outside. Make yourself holy at all time. Make yourself holy even in the night when you are going to bed. Let your dresses be white. You can go to the market. If you don't have a night uh, white cardigan, you can go and buy it. Go and buy white cardigan and be using it to sleep. Let your hair tie be white. I like sleeping with white so that the devil cannot use my body to manipulate me. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name.